Hey everyone, Micah here with ebikeschool.com. And believe it or not, there is an electric bicycle in this box. Now it's not a normal electric bicycle. It is a weird little folding e-bike known as the Xiaomi Hemo H1. I don't know why I bought this thing, but I did. I bought it on Indiegogo a few months ago. It has finally arrived. And now we're going to unbox this and see what kind of e-bike can fit in this little box. Let's do it. This is actually sealed. I am as excited to see this as you guys surely are. I can only get this thing open. This is like an origami box. What's going on here? All right. Instructions. I never read these and I always run into problems, so I should probably read these. Meh. Charger, I'm assuming. heck is this thing? I guess this just takes up space. Plus we get an adapter. All right, here is the bike. I know, it still doesn't look like a bike. It's coming, don't worry. Oh, this thing's actually a little heavy. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just small so it feels heavy. Can you see it yet? I don't know, I, I still can't quite see it. They say this is a bike, I don't know. Now how the heck do you unfold this thing? Man, if the box was origami, then what is this? Ah, magnets. All right. All right, I'm gonna do what I have not done before and read the instructions. <laughs> All right, perfect. They don't actually show you how to unfold it. They just show you what it looks like unfolded. All right, so somehow I have to go from this to this. Let's figure it out. All right, the seat is keeping it from unfolding. I feel like that shouldn't happen. Let's get the handlebars up first. Okay, just pulling on it harder doesn't work. Ah. It's a little latch thingy here. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to unfold it, but if you jam your finger under there, you can lift that up. All right. That seems to lock there. Those open like that. Oh, we're making progress, people. Oh, this is coming together. All right, why doesn't that come together? Okay, there we go. All right, we're close. Yes, yes, look at the size of that seat. Oh my God, that's adorable. How do I get these up? You know, for a small bike, this has a lot of steps. How do I open you? Oh, you just pull it hard, okay. All right, there we go. I'm gonna assume that's locked in there. All right, that one you just push hard too. I'm always afraid to just push things harder. It feels like that's not the right solution most of the time. All right, are those locked in there? Okay. Oh, let's reveal this beautiful yellow paint job. Oh yeah, look at that. Got a real Bumblebee from Transformers thing going on here. Does this go up any higher? Oh, look at that. That's almost full size. All right, let's turn this thing on. Uh-oh, nothing is happening. Oh no, please turn on. Oh, okay, that probably helps. Yes! All right, a little throttle. Woo, <laughs> Ooh, got a little giddy up and go on this thing. All right, did I perform my pre-flight test? Hope this thing is safe. You guys ready for this? <laughs> oh my god, this thing is hilarious. Woo. All right, hold on. I should be a good example here and put on my helmet. Speaking of which, is there a brake here? Wait, there's no brake. That seems... Oh, it's this little throttle thing here. Interesting. All right. So they use a throttle as the 
regen braking. Kind of makes sense. A little bit counterintuitive, but let's do it. Oh my god, this is hilarious. <laughs> it actually works really well, though. I mean, works well. It's going, right? Oh man, I'm gonna get nauseous going in circles like this. Whoa, those, those brakes are actually pretty good. All right, so let's take a look at what we've got here real quick. We've got folding handlebars. We fold in the middle. We've got folding foot pegs, folding wheels. There's even, I believe, a removable battery. So let's turn this off. How would I pull this out? Do I just yank it? Ugh, there's probably a key somewhere, right? Let's try opening this. No key. All right, so how do you get the battery out? Oh, oh there you go. Again, you just yank it harder. <laughs> All right, look at that adorable little battery. Oh man, this thing is hilarious. What size is this? 7.5 amp max. That appears to be the current rating. Ah, 36 volt, 7.5 amp hours. All right, so this is a cute little, what is that, like 250? watt hour or something like that um yeah that's i mean all you need for something this small right let's put that sucker back in so there's no modes here it's it's either whoa it's either on or it's not i guess all right let's test out the brakes gonna go full speed here Full speed and brakes. Whoa. Okay. So the brakes work better when you're going faster and as you slow down, they decrease in power, which is how regenerative brakes work. But that's why you generally have mechanical brakes because mechanical brakes work all the way to zero. I guess here you just kind of put your feet down at the end. But I'm sure what you guys want to see is a road test. So let's get to putting some actual miles on this bike, scooter, Thing? So I didn't expect much when I got the Hemo H1, and so for that reason alone it actually kind of exceeded my expectations. I should be clear that this is not a great e-bike by any means, it's really kind of a niche specialty e-bike or e-scooter, something that can fold up to fit in a backpack and serve as a true last mile transportation option, not really a long distance commuting solution. Whether it's something you keep in the trunk of your car, or maybe you're a Google employee and want something weirder than your coworker's Power Wheels truck for getting around the campus, or maybe even for use in a shopping mall or an airport, those are the kind of niche uses that this thing might be good for. But as you can tell, it actually works decently well for just riding around. Now I wouldn't take this on the road, but I'm certainly flying down the sidewalk just fine on it, and it even manages the small hills at the beginning and the end of the walkway here. It doesn't even take that long to get up to speed either. I mean, it only tops out at around 11 miles an hour, but it's not a big scooter either, so that's kind of par for the course here. Now in terms of sizing, I'm 5 foot 7 inches, or 170 centimeters, and I seem to fit on it alright, but if I was another head taller, then there might be an issue with fitment. But all in all, the device actually works better than I expected, and it's actually kind of fun for scooting around on, in a weird sort of way. I think I paid something like $450 for it on Indiegogo, which is probably more than it would be worth when you compare it just on specs. But if you really needed something that folded into a tiny square like this, but was still a functional seated scooter, that's actually not that bad of a price. Again, it all depends on what your needs are, and for some use cases where small size is necessary, this would do it for you without really breaking the bank. Alright, so final thoughts. This thing is pretty ridiculous, but let's be honest, it kind of works. I mean, obviously this is meant for really smooth paths or even indoor riding, you know, like on a big campus or in a shopping mall or something. But even outside on the roads, as long as you've got nice smooth roads, it seems to work. I mean, it's not very fast, it's not very powerful, I'm not going to be climbing any big hills, but it's moving me, right? So it kind of passes that test. Now, the utility is fairly limited. Obviously, there's no racks or baskets. You're not going to be carrying a lot of stuff. You're certainly not going to be carrying a passenger. 
But if all you need is something tiny that gets you from point A to point B, this could maybe do it. Of course, now the question is, can I figure out how to fold it back up? This thing's like a road map. It's got so many folds. I don't know if I'm gonna remember how to do this. All right, let's see. This has to go down. Let's start with these. Those fold down, the seat folds. There we go. This maybe folds. No, I think these went first. Okay, there's that. Ah, oh, so there's no kickstand, but you could fold one wheel up and it stays like that. Ah, that's what this red thing was for. It's like the safety. So you gotta pull that out and then push this. It's weird, the rear, rear wheel didn't have a safety. Huh, I guess you just don't wanna fold that one on accident. All right, so then you push this until it goes in that thing. Yeah, there we go. Fold those up, and then this, no, something is wrong. Why, oh, <laughs> all right, you gotta fold this first. I should probably edit that out, but I won't. All right, so fold that. And now it should all fold nice, nicely. No. No. Oh, the foot pegs up. Nice. Lee. Yeah, I did it. All right. So, oh, son of a. Oh. All right. There is a learning process here. And this thing is not light either when it falls on you. All right. So, how do you make these wheels stay in there? Oh, you just got to push them harder. All right. There. I think I've done it. I'm going to pick it up like this. All right. So, folds up pretty small. You could easily stick this in the trunk of a car. This isn't even trunk size. This is practically glove box size. Look at how small this is. This is ridiculous for a vehicle that I could actually ride around on. So in that way, I kind of want to call this a win, guys. I mean, it's not really a bike. It's not really anything, but it kind of works. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this kind of odd unboxing. Last but not least, it's time to announce the winner of the giveaway for my last video. And the randomly selected commenter is... The Boot Fitter. So congratulations, you won a free copy of one of my books. Just let me know which one you want, either DIY lithium batteries, DIY solar power, the ultimate do-it-yourself e-bike guide, or electric motorcycles, and let me know where to send it. And anybody else who wants a chance to win one of my books for free, all you have to do is put a comment down below. You can say anything you like, and hopefully you'll be the randomly selected commenter at the end of my next video. And for anybody who doesn't want to wait that long to get one of my books, you can always find them on Amazon. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.